Hello fellow wet shavers, JR here beaming in. Uh, today is Sunday. Usually it is a lather catcher Sunday, but today we have a very special uh, shave in store for you. Yesterday I received this nice razor in the mail. This is uh, Tom's What's he call it? Not another creation. So we call it TNOOC. And uh, I've got it loaded up with a uh, Gillette Silver Blue. I think it's aluminum. It has two caps. This cap right here is the rounded cap. And then this is a kind of special cap. And I think I might do my second pass with that. We'll see. I remember. Okay, so that's the razor we're using today. We're going to be shaving with some morning toast, which has uh, lime, ginger, and bergamot. We're going to lather up with my Burma Shave Boar and finish off with some Aqua Velva Iced Blue. So, Get the water going. All we do is wet the brush, shake it off, and wet the face. And that's my total prep. Remember, cold water all the way. <coughs> uh, a new addition is uh, to my shaking breath routine is that uh, if all possible I will just take the puck rub it on the face okay that's it and then uh, go to ten lettering so it saves a lot of time that way. Yeah, this stuff ladders up really, really good. This was created by uh, Vintage Life. Find him over on YouTube. does a lot of cool videos okay so here we go loaded up with the silver blue the Gillette silver blue uh, angle very easy to find here Easy to get under the nose. Very nice so far. Some people comment about how light it is. It's uh, it is light. And it's very easy to handle. No pressure. Okay. Let's see how we did. Very good, very good. Now, we're going to swap out the heads. This head has a long screw on it. There's the 
base plate. It's got a question mark on the bottom. Think about this though. The, uh, the little uh, things on the bottom are very, very, very uh, tight with with my Gillette Silver Blue. Rinsing off the blade here. Now, drop it in there. And I just kind of pushed it down in there because, like I said, it, uh, it's, it's a very tight fit. Yesterday, kind of tighten it down really good. All right, so that's ready to go. Let's get a little more lather on the face, and we'll do the final pass. From what I understand, this head may be the more aggressive head. That first one was not bad at all. I didn't find it aggressive, but I got a very smooth shave out of it. Very efficient sh shave. First pass. Now, this one's got a big gap on it. If you can see that or not, but it's got a big gap. Uh, I need to be going the other way. Kind of feel the blade a little bit, not much, but uh, I've had a lot of experience shaving, <laughs> so finding that the angle was not too bad. My chin is the hardest place to shave. Man, it's an excellent shave top. I really love it. Okay, did an excellent job. Uh, rinse off with cold water. about as baby smooth as I've gotten in a long, long time. So I did that with Tom's question mark razor, Tanak, T-N-O-C, Tom's not another creation, and uh, now we're using hot water to clean out this 
residual. So, come on, hot water. Okay. There we go. Uh, clean out brush. Painting actions and uh, that's it for this brush for this week. So tomorrow I start a new uh, shaving setup basically. The uh, rest of the week, starting tomorrow, I'll be using the Bunny B400, also by Tom. Today we're going to finish up with some uh, aqua velva, ice blue. There we go, man. Now I am clean, smooth, and refreshed. And uh, glad you got to see this shave with Tom's. Not another creation, Tanakh. Y'all have a good one. We'll see you next time. JR signing out. Bye-bye. Beam me up, Scotty. <laughs>